So here I've got a really nice sample of silicon, all right? Okay. I'm going to take it out of the bottle. At the... I'm going to have to wash my hands after this. So silicon is a very um, common element. It's particularly found in sand, which is the oxide of silica. That's the compound of oxygen and silicon. It's also found in a um, variety of minerals which contain silicon, oxygen and another metal which are known as silicates. And silicates occur in an enormous number of different minerals. It's the sort of part of science that unless you're a specialist you find quite boring. But if you really go into it, like everything else, it becomes really quite interesting. So this is a piece of polycrystalline silicon. It's a really quite fantastic element and it's very often used, I mean, in fact it's used very regularly to make electronic components. So all of the computers that we use and, and actually the camera that you're recording me on now are based upon silicon technology. Silicon is also extremely important and the basis of most of the electronic devices we w use. My watch, your um, video camera and also in computers. And if we look over here I've got here, this is an example of a silicon wafer. You can see at the back, this is silicon. So the silicon is grown as a single crystal from which we can then make very, very highly refined architectures on silicon chips. But you see here, we've got a polycrystalline sample, so it's very pretty the way that it interacts with the light, and you can see the different grain sizes. So let me take it out. Did Martin show you the single crystal, the wafer? Yeah, he's got oh, the old, yeah. silicon chips. Because yeah, yeah. if you get the light coming off it, you can get all sorts of like, different coloured effects. Here you can see this is pure silicon on the back. And on the front, people have grown chips. These are the um, Pentium 4 chips for the um, <coughs> computer. I think, I'm not absolutely sure, but I think these are the chips and these are the connectors on either side. So there are a whole lot of these chips and they grow a large number of them at once. These are chopped up and tested and the ones that worked are put into computers. The ones that are no, no good are just chucked. And so this is a fantastically delicate and piece of um, engineering making these. This is so-called 20 centimeter wafer. They now make silicon chips on a 30 centimeter wafer which is <coughs> about this size and you can get a large number more on them. If you get a single crystal of this silicon structure it can it can diffract the light and change the light so it refracts and bends off at different angles and you get like a rainbow effect of it. It's really quite beautiful. Compound of silicon, silicon nitride, is extremely tough and very light so it's very difficult to break and silicon nitride for example is used in the impellers in um, turbochargers in cars. So when you put your foot down on the accelerator, it will spin up very fast because it's very light, but it's very strong, so it won't suddenly fall to bits as it's revving up inside your engine. Right, I must put that there because I want to put that back in a bag.